Okay, so working here in Illustrator today, and we're going to have a look at how we can make and kind of carve out a pumpkin head. So uh, one of the nice things about this is that we can use a lot of the, the Pathfinder tools to cut different bits out of shapes and also a kind of work to align things. So there's some nice uh, kind of opportunities for learning the basics of Illustrator, but also peeking into some uh, more advanced techniques of how to get things nice and sharp and lined up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm just going to make a new document, file on new and we're going to stick with the standard letter size and um, we're going to work um, in CMYK but if you're working um, for screen for the web then I suggest you switch to RGB. Okay so we've got our blank document here. First thing to do, always very important, I'll just go to file, save as and we're just going to save it straight to the desktop. Okay I'm working at Illustrator CS6, so we can keep it as the standard format. Illustrator is pretty uh, compatible. Um, it's PDF compatible here, and this is checked, so we'll be able to move this file between different versions of Illustrator relatively easily. Uh, and we'll come down here and click OK, and that's our file saved. Okay, so the first thing we're going to draw out is our pumpkin head. So we'll grab the ellipse tool. If you don't see the ellipse tool, then just click and hold down um, on the default tool, which would be the rectangle tool jump down to the ellipse tool and then we're going to change a couple of these settings down here for the color. So we're going to turn off the stroke and we're just going to bring the fill to the foreground. And we're going to use our swatches here, standard swatches, um, to make a, a pumpkin head. We're actually going to turn this into a gradient um, in a minute so the color's not super important right at this moment. We can change as we go on. So we'll just drag out a nice pumpkin head. We'll jump back to the selection tool here and we'll just tweak the basic shape of this a little by dragging this in. Okay, so this is going to be the basic shape that we're going to use for a number of different things. So for the, the pumpkin head and then also for some of the, the kind of folds um, in the pumpkin and um, for a couple of other things uh, as well. Okay, so first things first though, we're going to give this pumpkin, uh, the basic pumpkin, a bit more texture. So we're going to use the gradient tool for that. If you don't see the same palettes that I see along here on the right, then just go to window workspace, uh, reset essentials. And this means that we're just looking at the same thing on the screen in terms of the menus that are down here and the different panels that are available um, to us. Okay, so we've got our head here and we're gonna jump in to the gradient panel here. Okay, and we're gonna change it to a radial gradient. And you can see here that we've got our radial gradient and we've got the colors. We can slide these in and out. And this is how we're gonna make the pumpkin look a bit more three-dimensional. So as if we're casting a a light onto the pumpkin. So if I double click on one of these, you'll see I get the, the color options up for this. And there are really a number of different options that we can choose here. We're gonna stick with the swatches initially, and then we're gonna have a play around with the different color selection tools in a second. So we'll stick to the main orange for our pumpkin for the moment, and we're just gonna set these actually to the same color. So we've got our two color sliders here, and one, um, we want to basically make a little bit darker. So we're going to double check this color. Um, and now we're going to jump into the color palette. And I'm just going to jump into HSB, Hue, Saturation and Brightness, because we just want to drop down the brightness of this a little bit. Okay. Now, don't worry, we actually want the lighter color in the middle, but we can just swap these around in a second. So I'm going to pull my darker color to the edge and my lighter color to the side there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to give it a kind of little highlight um, up here. You can see if I come across my gradient slider here, I can add in another slider and I can change the position of that slider here too. So this color is kind of similar to the original orange. So I'm going to just pump this orange up a little bit. I'm going to go back to hue, saturation and brightness. Just drop the, the saturation and increase the brightness. Um, here a little bit as well. Okay, and we might just tweak the hue just to give it a little bit more texture. So we're making this highlighted area a little bit more yellow and we'll stretch that out a little bit. Okay, now this looks very uniform, bang in the middle at the moment. Um, so we want to change that, we want to kind of give it a bit more of a, a nicer feel to it. So what we're going to do is come across to our toolbar on the left hand side here and jump to the gradient tool. Okay, now this allows us to rotate. We uh, come to the edge here, rotate our 
gradient, which won't make too much difference at the moment. We can also adjust the position and center of it. Okay, and we've got all the controls over adding and changing the alignment of the colors up here too as well. So we've got some real nice uh, control over our gradient using the gradient tool from the tool panel. Just gonna jump in here and reduce the amount of magenta here just to get a bit more orange in there. Okay, and we'll jump back to the oops, jump back to the selection tool. I just did a little edit undo there because I clicked one too many times with the gradient tool. Okay, so we've got our basic kind of pumpkin shape that we're going to be working with. Now what we want to do is add some little grooves into the pumpkin here. So the pumpkins don't grow in a flat uh, egg-like shape like this. They actually have some nice grooves in them. So I'm going to select this shape and we're going to borrow the curves on this shape to, to make those grooves. So if we do edit copy and then we're going to use this function edit paste in place. Okay, now you'll see that nothing's happened at the moment, but actually we do have two versions um, of our pumpkin head and the, the topmost one will be the one you'll select. And we're gonna use the curves here to start to line up some grooves on the pumpkin. And we don't have to worry about these being exactly the same uh, position. So we're gonna turn off the fill for this and bring forward the stroke. Okay, now with the stroke, um, we're gonna use uh, the same orange okay and again we're going to come up to our color on the top here for the stroke on the top right of the the right hand panel bar and if we just click here once and we're in hsb but i just want to show the options so i can see the options for the hue saturation and brightness okay and i just want to drop the brightness of these a little bit now we won't see very much happening at the moment because we also need to go down to the stroke and here again we're going to come to this little mini menu show the options and we're going to increase the, the thickness of our stroke. I'm just placing the cursor in here and using the upward arrow until we can start to see that stroke. Okay. Now, we're going to slice this line in a minute so these strokes don't go round in this circle like this. Also here, we're going to change the stroke profile to um, this width profile one, which gives us a kind of tapered line. Jump back to the color here up at the top. And we're just going to drop the brightness a little bit more so we can see that a bit more clearly. I'm going to push the saturation up a bit as well. So we should end up with a, a nice line and maybe just have a peek at the CMYK. Okay, that's looking close to what I wanted. Okay, so we've got a nice kind of groove um, here in the pumpkin. And then we're going to use the scissors tools to, to kind of break this line up a bit. Okay, so if we come to uh, the Eraser tool here, and you click and hold. We can grab the scissors tool. We can then slice a couple of times on the left here, and we break this into a, a separate line. And then a couple of times on the right hand side here, and we break this into four different lines. And now the top and bottom lines we can get rid of. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to copy. The whole pumpkin and then paste it in place okay and then just reduce it a little more now this time i will take away the fill remove the fill the bottom here but then use the eyedropper tool to select the line and it will select the color and the overall width of the stroke and then we just need to jump in here and change the profile so that it has this tapered edge jump back to the scissors and we'll vary the length of our pumpkins grooves a little bit. Okay. And then we'll just do this one last time. So we'll copy, edit, paste in place. And then we're just gonna pull this right to the middle. So we have one groove here right in the middle and we can select the eyedropper tool Okay, and it's no fill, and we can then add in the width profile. Slice these off. We'll just have one here in the middle. Okay, actually, we'll just flip that round to the other side. We can move these around, just balance them out. 
and make sure that we're we're happy with how they look. And so we've got our pumpkin with our grooves in it. And the next step here is then to actually start to draw in some eyes on our pumpkin. So for the eyes, we want to kind of give it a bit of a an evil look. Um, so we're going to give it some bad guy eyes, and we're going to do this by using a new ellipse. Okay, so I'm just going to switch this back to black and white. Okay, just to show how we're doing this. So we're going to grab this, and the positioning isn't too important at the moment. Okay, we can tweak this a little bit later, and we'll just angle these. So we're going to want to kind of slice a shape out of these eyes. Okay, so the option key on the keyboard, and we're just going to make a duplicate of that shape. Okay, and you can see the shape that's left here um, is kind of, you know, widening out um, towards the the edge of the pumpkin there. And that's pretty much what we want. We'll just angle it a little more so we can accentuate that a bit more. Okay, and what we're going to use now is the Pathfinder tool. So you'll need to go to Window and Pathfinder. Okay, and this is a way we can combine and cut apart and make shapes work uh, together in different ways. So we're going to select both these ellipses that we made and use the Subtract option, the minus option. Okay, and you can see that we end up with this kind of nice uh, kind of waving eye that looks uh, pretty evil. And then we're going to grab the rectangle tool and we'll just draw out a rectangle. We just want to slice off the edge of this eye here. Nice thing about carving pumpkins is there are no uh, strict rules about how you should and shouldn't do it. So uh, you can and we'll just pop that in place and then do the same. Select both of those and we'll just cut the edge. Okay, so you can see we've got a nice pumpkin eye there. Okay, so let's uh, grab our orange again as our fill. Just make sure your fill color is in the foreground before you do that. Okay, so we're going to grab the orange um, and then we're going to go to our color panel here and we'll just use the hue, saturation and brightness to drop the brightness right down, but still keeping that kind of tone of the, the orange. Okay, now what we want to do is show that the pumpkin has some thickness to it. So we're going to add in another kind of section here at the bottom. Okay, so to do this, we're going to copy the eye and paste it in place twice. And then you'll see uh, kind of why we do that in a second. So I'm going to copy this. So we're going to paste in place twice. So edit, paste in place, and edit, paste in place. And then we're going to use that to cut in um, and make the, the pumpkin look like it has a little bit of depth. Okay, so we're just going to take this topmost one and just actually try and line it up as best we can. So I just zoomed in. Okay, and that looks good. You can select this one and the one below it and use the minus front and that will give us this kind of depth to the pumpkin. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my swatch again and we'll jump in. We'll use a bit more of a yellow um, here for the, the inside of the pumpkin's eye. Okay, so we've got one of our eyes here. Okay, and if we now select both of these, holding down shift, I'm going to use the, the mirror tool, the reflect tool, to actually get those to, to line up. So the reflect tool, if you come, just close the uh, pathfinder. In fact, I'll dock it down here because we'll need it a little bit later. Um, the reflect tool, on the left hand toolbar here, if we click hold on that, you might see the rotate tool. So you just need to select the reflect tool. And then when you've got that selected, you see this little blue target. And we need to move that to the point at which we want to kind of reflect um, our eye. And then if we hold down the Alt key as we're doing this, you can see we end up with a reflection of the shape we just made. So we've got our pumpkin's eyes here now. And we can also just have a bit of variation. So if we move this a little bit, just so the eyes aren't totally symmetrical, we'll give the, uh, the image a bit of variation. You can see it's nice, it's snapping to the, the line there. So we've got the shapes kind of perfectly aligned one on top of another. Okay, so we've got the eyes to our pumpkin. And for the nose, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Just take the, the pen tool, 
in the toolbar on the left here, click three times, and we've got the start of our pumpkin's nose. We're going to get a bit more advanced with the, the teeth to give it a nice kind of uh, smiling grimace. Okay, so let's just stretch that out a bit. And again, um, with the, the nose here, we're going to copy this. Actually, let's just change the, the fill color here. So if you grab the eyedropper tool, we can select the same fill color that we had for the inside of the eyes here. And then we'll select this, edit, copy, or command or control and C, and then edit, paste in place, and do that twice. And then we'll use that topmost one here with the Pathfinder tool to cut out of that shape. And then with the eyedropper tool selected, we'll come back here and we've got our pumpkin nose carved out. I'm just going to come in here, use the selection tool, and then line this up so that we kind of get a bit of variation in the width of those two different parts. Remember that when you're snapping here, it's going to snap to the edge of your other shapes. Let's work on the mouth. Okay, so we're going to grab the background oval to our pumpkin, okay? And we're going to copy that and paste it in place again, okay? So really what we're looking for is this kind of nice uh, consistency between some of the curves we have in our image. So we're going to use this as the base shape. Okay, I'm going to leave this nice and high, okay? And then, shall I just move it to the side? We use the eyedropper tool to select the inside color of that. Okay, let's just drop this down here. So we've got the start of our pumpkin's mouth. So first thing, we're going to start to carve some teeth out of this using the pen tool. Okay, and this is really where the, the Pathfinder tool comes into its own. So you can keep this kind of nice curve shape at the edge, but then we can use the pen tool to kind of chop in to our pumpkin here. So we get some consistency between the different uh, parts of the shape. And don't worry if you accidentally kind of bump into anything uh, in the background of the image, we can always move these points a little bit later using the direct selection tool. Okay, so we're going to come to the top here. I'm just going to click and hold because I want to make sure that this is away from the edge of the rest of my image. And I'll do the same down here, just click and hold, just to make sure that I'm, um, when I'm chopping out, chopped out everything in that circle up there. Okay, so let's hold down Shift, select both those shapes that we've just made, and use the subtract minus front shape tool. Jump back to the direct selection tool and you can see we definitely need to, oops, tweak the position of some of these uh, teeth here. Although it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's do the bottom. So we'll grab the pen tool again and we'll just do the same thing. Okay, and then we'll stop about there and just move these up so that they are inside the curve of the bottom curve of that circle. Okay, so ending up being a little closer. Okay, so we'll select these two shapes. Again, use the minus front tool and we've got the start of our our pumpkin's teeth. Let's just tweak these a little bit. In fact, I'm going to move my nose up a little bit. So I'm just using shift and select to move this guy up a little bit. I'm going to move the eyes up a little bit too. Okay, so back to the direct selection tool. Just going to get this sort of where we want it. Okay, so now that we have our mouth uh, carved out, what's really going to make this is showing the depth of that pumpkin. Okay, so we're going to copy this and again edit paste in place, do that twice. Okay, and then we're just going to move the topmost shape up a little bit. We want to make sure that it intersects with the edges here so that we uh, kind of get it cutting out um, and into the edge of our, the side of the circle here. Okay, let's select both of those and we'll 
use the minus front here. Okay, and then we'll grab the eyedropper, select that color, and start to see that we're ending up with something that's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, just tweak these now. So again, we can come in and we can tweak our the position. Okay, some of these just to get some nice variety in it. Okay, so last uh, important bit of the pumpkin is obviously the stalk at the top here and it's grown from. Take the pen tool and we're gonna grab a green uh, to start with here. Probably change and tweak this color a little bit. So we'll just use the pen tool and we can be pretty rough. Never seen this part of a pumpkin looking very regular. So really it's up to you as to how it looks. And obviously we can come in again and tweak it. Okay, so we've got our pumpkin stalk here. And um, now we need to change this color a little bit. So again, we're gonna jump in and jump into our uh, color here. We're using the hue, saturation. We wanna desaturate that a bit. Okay, and also darken it off just a little bit. Maybe just bit more green in the hue there. So that's looking pretty good. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna grab the pen tool and we're just gonna add a little bit more detail into the, the top of the pumpkin here. Okay, so I'm just gonna change this to stroke only. And I'm just gonna run one stroke along here. Okay, and I'm gonna increase this. Um, and also change the color a little bit so I can see it a bit more clearly. So we'll just uh, lighten this up and desaturate it a bit. I've made it too big. So I'll drop it back down. It's looking pretty good. Again, we'll taper this off so it's a little bit more irregular. Maybe two millimeters is good, perfect. And we'll just zoom in here. Hold down the space bar to move around. And then if we click and hold, we can just kind of drag this into position. Actually, I'm gonna drop it down a bit. Again. Okay. All right. So let's just uh, copy that and we'll paste it, and we'll just move these points. Use the handles to kind of change the angle that we've got there. And paste it one last time. I'm just going to add in a little detail the bottom here. If you look at a pumpkin, you'll see this always looks pretty twisty and turny, so don't need to be too, too accurate. But let's just delete that one point. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's uh, our pumpkin. Obviously, it's just floating in space at the moment. So what we're gonna do is actually uh, change uh, the background a little bit, okay? So we're gonna grab the rectangle tool here a big rectangle and we will just give a kind of glow behind the pumpkin okay so we've got this gradient set up already um, just flip that okay and if we grab the selection tool here bring our gradient to the front come back to the gradient tool here we can just Double click on these. Actually, I'm going to remove this first fill there and just going to drop down or increase the black and red in the background here. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then if we go to Object, arrange, centre back, we end up with a nice little gradient uh, behind our pumpkin. Okay, so hopefully this tutorial has been useful. Um, we've run through how to uh, combine shapes, cut out shapes, and actually work with um, Illustrator in some uh, interesting ways, and hopefully you should have a, a pretty good looking pumpkin.